What's up LP viewers, how's it going? In my last video I asked you guys, what accomplishment are you most proud of? And this is what you guys said. Today's comment question of the day is, would you guys want to know when you die? Okay, I just want to quickly say that a lot of you viewers are seeing me out there in the real world. Like you guys would see me in the mall or restaurants or just somewhere random. I just want to say, don't be afraid to come up to me and say hello. I'll say hello back to you guys and maybe we can even like take a picture for your Instagram or something. I just want to be that guy who's like not an asshole if you go up to. Like I just want to be friendly to everybody and meet all of you guys. And then this summer, I'm actually going to have my first ever official fan meetup. I'm really nervous because what if nobody shows up, but I'm just so damn excited. But as soon as I can confirm what those dates are, I'll let you guys know way in advance. So yeah, the moral of the story is, if you guys see me, come say hi. Okay, let me introduce you guys to this guy right here. Isn't he just the cutest thing ever? His name is San Diego, and he's only 8 months old. Which is totally insane because he's way overweight. He weighs 43 pounds. This is the same weight of like a 6 year old. He is known to be Colombian. Columbia's most obese baby. I mean, this is a title that you don't really want to have. But is this real life right now? I mean, this is a parenting fail. There's actually a charity right now that's trying to raise money to try to get him an operation. And this operation will save his life. His mother told the media that I just keep feeding him because he just keeps crying. And let's just say that he cries a lot. He has been hospitalized for most of his life and I feel so bad for him. Just look at this picture right here. He's on oxygen. He's so obese that he's finding it really hard to breathe on his own. Me personally, I think the mother is slowly killing him. All you have to say is no and just let him cry. Think about it. Would you rather him crying for a whole day, whole week, or would you rather like keep feeding him food and next month he's gonna turn up dead? I really hope that he does get the money that he needs and he can get the operation so he can live a normal life. Okay, let me show you guys this video that's going absolutely viral all over YouTube. The name of the video is called Wheel of Fortune Amazing Bonus Round Solve. It has over 7.4 million views right now. In the video, you can see this guy is trying to solve the puzzle and there's only like two letters up on the board. Take a look at how he solves it. Wow, well. Uh, this looks tough to me. <laughs> it's a thing. Uh, you're a very good puzzle solver, but I don't know. It's, you have 10 seconds. Keep talking. Maybe the right thing will pop out. Good luck. New baby buggy. New baby. New. That oh. <laughs> That is just insane, and he ended up winning $45,000 for the bonus round. This video became so popular that Ellen saw this video and actually invited this guy onto her show. Ellen got him to solve puzzles on the show, and every single puzzle that she gave him, he was able to solve, like, right away. This guy was actually pretty entertaining and really funny. He has been watching Wheel of Fortune since he was three years old, for, like, all of his life. He said he was actually able to solve about 99% of the puzzles ever seen on the show. Okay, so another thing that's also trending in the news is, of course, Miley Cyrus. She just got a kitty cat tattooed on the inside of her lip. I've seen stupid before, but man, this is like a whole other level. I know a lot of you guys will probably be like, Oh my god, Lennon, having a tattoo on the inside of your lip? Like, have you never seen that before? Everybody does it. But my question is, looking at this picture again, like, how bad was that tattoo artist? You have to really look close to see what it actually is. To me, it looks like a kitty cat, and it has like, I don't know, like a drop of like, tear or something on the side of its face. And I really hope that all those hardcore Miley Cyrus fans out there aren't gonna follow this trend. Before Miley Cyrus underwent the needle, experts were actually saying that getting a tattoo on the inside of your lips isn't highly recommended. There's so much that can go wrong and she, she shouldn't do it. There's actually this one guy that we've talked about here on Land of Production that has tattoos of Miley Cyrus all over his body. He's so obsessed. So I'm thinking, like, is this guy gonna follow suit? Is he gonna get a cat tattooed on the inside of his lip as well? Am I gonna be talking about this guy in, like, an episode from now? Anyways, viewers, thank you guys so much for watching. It really does mean like the world to me and I'll see you guys in my next video.